Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. All right, Sagittarius, the first card to come out for you today was the Tower card, the infamous Tower card. Um, this is, if something wasn't built on a solid foundation, then it comes crashing down, and this causes a lot of stress. It's uh, not a nice thing to go through, but a necessary thing to go through. So um, the pieces that are remaining left of the tower are rebuilt into a more solid, you know, unbreakable foundation. And that was clarified by the flu disappointment in a friend or lover so perhaps you had a argument um, with your significant other or your friend take it how it resonates and you know you both had this tower moment but that was clarified by bridge successfully overcoming a problem so you guys are going to be able to repair this relationship whether this is a friendship or a romantic you guys will overcome these problems and the tower will be built stronger than what it was before and that was clarified by love. So there's going to be lots of love here. Next card out for you was the Knave of Swords, Air Energy. So this is someone that is not happy that you and your significant other or your best friend, take it how it resonates, are, you know, doing okay. That you guys have mended your broken relationship and are still together. And this Knave of Swords is a spy energy. This is a very negative energy that wants to see the downfall. This person wants to see the tower moments and doesn't like it when they're rebuilt up. This is someone that um, watches, spies, uh, gossips, uh, slander. You know, this is someone that's like always, you know, watching in the corner, hoping for someone's downfall type energy. That person could have also possibly caused the tower moments in your relationship. Next card out was Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So a change is coming for the better. You know, this negative person that is trying to constantly cause tower moments in your relationship, this person is going to be, um, they're going to be receiving their karma. So there's going to be a change. This is not going to, you know, consistently happen. And because God's intervening. You know, here you got the angel card. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So God is stepping in. He's going to protect your relationship and, you know, not allow this person to intervene or, you know, just basically giving their negative energy towards you. So you are divinely protected. Get an angel card out for you. That came out very quickly. Stay true to yourself. Don't compromise or water down your ideas. Listen to, tr listen to trust and follow your inner voice. So beautiful energy here. You know, always stay true to yourself because, you know, that's your essence. That's your soul. That's who God wants you to be. And, you know, never compromise yourself. Um, never belittle yourself or think that your ideas are not important when, in, in fact, they are very important. So, you know, follow your... It's saying to follow your inner voice, follow your intuition, and, you know, know that you are spiritually protected and your, your relationship and your, you know, whether this is a friendship or a romantic relationship, you know, you are divinely protected. All right, Sagittarius, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.